Hebrew word Messiah. 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 Right? Is the translation. So they translated the names of people. If this word Messiah was not known, you'll never know. Peter. Peter never heard the word Peter in his life. You know that? This great man who's supposed to feed his flock, he said, feed my flock, feed my sheep, means look after them. These are my people, my followers, look after them. Peter, Peter. His name was Simon, Simon. He said, Simon, thou art Kephas. Kephas in Hebrew means a rock or stone. Thou art Kephas means we are like a rock, man. And on this rock, on this foundation, I'll build my church. Kephas, Kephas. Simon, thou art Kephas. So they say, thou art Peter. How do you get Peter? Kephas in Hebrew means a rock or stone. Petros in Greek means rock or stone. From the word Petros, they got Peter. Peter never heard the word Peter in his life. No, you have a sickness of translating names. Paul, Paul is not Paul, it's Saul. Saul is a Jew. So they change it to Paul. Sounds American, like sounds Greek or a Roman. Jesus sounds Greek or a Roman, not a Jew. <laughs> Messiah sounds Jew. So say Christ. You think it's a new word come from heaven? Nothing like that. You have a sickness of translating names of people. Jesus did prophesy according to the Quran, Mimbada Ismu Ahmad. But now since you have lost the word, let us examine the prophecy. He says, if I don't go, he won't come. But if I go, I will send him. He's conditional. He has got to go. If he doesn't go, he won't come. If I go, I will send him. So you say the comforter is the Holy Ghost. I said, now nah, the Holy Ghost, when did he start coming? Open Luke. Luke, the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 1, verse 14. It says, and John the Baptist had the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. From his mother's stomach. You know, that Holy Ghost that was with him. And he came out with it. I don't know what it means, but this is what the Bible says. And John the Baptist, Yahya alayhi salam, he had the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Verse 47, he said, and Elizabeth had the Holy Ghost before Jesus was born. John the Baptist had the Holy Ghost before Jesus was born. And it says, and Zechariah had the Holy Ghost before Jesus was born. And it says, and Simon, Simeon, Simon, he had the Holy Ghost before Jesus was born. So it doesn't make sense. And Jesus, when he was baptized by John the Baptist, the Spirit of God came from heaven in the shape of a dove and said, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. The gift of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost came down in the shape of a dove on Jesus. So the Holy Ghost was there all the time, helping John the Baptist, helping Elizabeth, helping Zechariah. In your book, in your book, man, everybody seemed to have had the, had the Holy Ghost, including John the Baptist from his mother's womb. He came out with it, with the Holy Ghost. Can you imagine? He's coming out with the Holy Ghost. This is what your book says. So it doesn't make any sense that if I don't go, I won't say, I won't. He won't come. I have got to go before I send him. He's there all the time. And his, your, his disciples, how did they heal, heal people? When they preached, with whose help? They said, with the help of the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost was there. And before he parted, he told his disciples, receive you the Holy Ghost. Ah, take it. So was he joking? Hmm? I said, I take I a note from my pocket. It's $100. Here, yeah, I give it to you, my son. Ah, $100. You know, I'm joking. There's nothing there. Did Jesus do that? Playing fools? I can play fools with you. Did Jesus do that? He said, receive. Did they receive or not? He must have received, man. <laughs> so it makes no sense. Then in chapter 14, he says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. You haven't got that capacity. I have knowledge. I have solution to all your problems till doomsday. But you, my disciples, are not fit. You are not fit to receive it. And the truth of that statement is writ large in the Christian Bible. Again and again, Jesus tells his disciples, ye of little faith, ye of little faith, ye of little faith, you got no iman. Very, kalil, kalil, iman. How many times? <laughs> Dozens of times. And he's explaining to them as he was explaining to little children. And they can't understand. So he said, I even yet without understanding, Yet, you can't understand, I'm talking to you like a little child, man, and you can't understand what I'm talking. Everything that he says, they misunderstand. 
And he's, when he's provoked further, he said, Oh, faithless and perverse generation. Oh, faithless and perverse generation. How long shall I be with you? How long shall I be with you? I said, if Jesus was a Japanese instead of a Jew, he would have committed that honorable harakiri, suicide. <laughs> but he's a Jew. Life is dear to him. He can't afford to do that. So he said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself, but what things shall he hear, that shall he speak. And he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. Who is the spirit of truth? He said, the Holy Ghost, again, the Holy Ghost. They fall in love with the Holy Ghost. I said, look, who has got the Holy Ghost? Every church and denomination. In Christendom, they have the gift of the Holy Ghost, they say. The Jehovah's Witnesses, they got the Holy Ghost. The Roman Catholics got the Holy Ghost. The Anglicans, you call them Episcopals, they got the Holy Ghost. The Mennonites got the Holy Ghost. The Christadelphians got the Holy Ghost. The Mormons, there are 40 different Baptist churches, different Baptist churches, and they all have the Holy Ghost. There are a thousand different sects and denominations among the whites of South Africa, and 3,000 among the blacks of South Africa, and everyone has got the Holy Ghost. So, what did this Holy Ghost teach you in 2,000 years? Something that Jesus didn't tell you in so many different words. Give me one. He said, I have yet many, many means more than one in English. All truth. I will guide you into all. The goal. All means more than one. I don't want more than one. I want only one. Give me just one new thing that this Holy Ghost gave any church in 2,000 years. There isn't. I said, let me quote you. This verse. Again with a little emphasis on the pronouns. He says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself. But what things so shall he hear, that shall he speak, and he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. Eight masculine pronouns in one verse. It ill befits a ghost, a spook. In any language, he should be it. When it is come, it, it. He says, he, 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 he. He's talking about a man, a man, a man, and not a spook, not a ghost, not a spirit. And I want to be a Karim Sarasan. He guided mankind into all truth. Solution to all your problems. And you have problems. You Americans, you have problems. America, especially America, has got problems. And Islam has answers to the problems. But we are, not, we are not the messengers of that message to them. We are not. We haven't played our role the way we ought to play. We haven't done the job. We are here for a living. And Osman Don Fodio of Nigeria, who fought against the British, he said, he said, no Muslim has a right to remain anywhere in a minority situation unless he's there for jihad or for dawah. You are here for a living, this is haram. Look, I don't say that. You're here just for a living? Men, dogs and pigs and all, they also live and procreate. Is that the only motive you are here? It doesn't mean you mustn't work, you must earn your living. Alhamdulillah, go ahead, halal rizq, earn. But your primary purpose is do dawah or jihad. With the intellect. And Allah has given you. He said, He's given you a deen that is a master who come and supersede them all, kulli, bulldoze them all, kulli, whether it be Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianism, Communism, Judaism, every ism, Islam is destined to master them all. Wallahu karih al mushrikun. Allah says, never mind how the mushrik might not like it. This is the destiny of his deen. Does it look like that? No. We are like punching bags for people, practicing on us. They're using us as a doormat. This is the role of a Muslim. I said, we might as well get lost, man. We must get out of it. Look, Allah, if this is the role Allah has in store for me, that I must get a beating hmm? from the Nasara and the Jews. If this is the role Allah has for me, then I should get out of Islam. This is not the role. The role is, how? With the gun 